that is a prime example of an infested leaf with a beneficial insect doing its job. The beneficial bug is the big one in the center. It's devouring aphids. Those are the little specks that look like fine black and white coffee grounds. This ladybug is also a beneficial bug that likes to eat aphids. You know, there are different varieties of ladybugs, so they're all not going to look the same. Mary Lou Havener is on the Tulsa Garden Center's board of directors. Gardening in Oklahoma is always a challenge. Um, but the situation we're seeing now is unfortunately we've had extreme bouts of heat early in the season and unfortunately the heat brings out the bad insects. So we are seeing heavier infestations this time of year because of the heat and as the heat worsens you're going to see things just explode with the bad insects. Havener says inviting beneficial insects to set up housekeeping in your yard can greatly reduce the damage done by pest varieties, as well as help make your garden more bountiful. Some beneficial bugs like bees and butterflies specialize in pollinating plants so they'll be fruitful. Others like ladybugs are voracious predators that eat the pests that want to eat your plants, so you'll rarely need to use pesticides. Beneficial insects are great. They're a green situation. They're uh, low to no cost type control. It's healthy. Um, it's great for the environment. And with just a little bit of effort, you can set up uh, an area and cohabitat with these wonderful beneficial insects. Ladybugs can be enticed to set up permanent colonies in your yard. All they need is a protected spot to nest, like this mulch under the rose bush. Other insects can be attracted to your yard by your choice of plantings. You can even buy good bugs to release in your yard. Beneficial bugs include ladybugs, dragonflies, butterflies, moths, and bees. What's the difference between the bees? Well, you've got your honeybees, and then you've got what you call a, a surfid fly that resembles a small bee, and they'll eat the, you know, the aphids, the white flies. While the bees do the work of pollinating? Pollinating, correct. And then the surfid flies, which is a small bee, will also attack the aphid colonies as well. So that's why they're considered a beneficial insect for control. Havener says a water feature helps attract and retain beneficial bugs. Some, like butterflies, are picky about where they'll drink. This particular area is too deep with water, but if you can tell, there's some very just moist areas, um, and that it would be a prime location for a butterfly to light to get a drink. Others are not so fussy. They just need access to moisture, whether it's the droplets that collect on the leaves of plants or the water from a fountain. Havener says circulating water features prevent pests like mosquitoes from breeding because they need still water. And she says beneficial bugs can control many yard pests, but not everything. Things like these squash beetles still have to be picked off plants by hand or killed with a pesticide. For ONR, I'm Kathy Tatum.